What's up, all my folks out in YouTube land? Daryl, also known as The Finisher. Man, job site dust extraction is something that I think is very valuable. You know, I, I think it's one, the mo one of the most important things is that when you're working out on these job sites, you gotta protect the customer's house. And I work in customer's houses, customers with little kids and babies, customers, that I work in customer's houses where you walk in the, to the front door and they got a sign about oxygen. You know, you can't just drilling and sanding and every dust in the air and everything. So you gotta have systems, especially if you're gonna be a professional at this, you gotta have systems to extract the dust. And they don't all have to be super expensive. So my system is, I consider it a pretty affordable system and it works for everything. Like everything from my miter saw to sanders to, uh, you know, my, my drywall sander. It works for everything. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a rigid 16 gallon shop vac with, it gets, it's supposed to get 6.5 horsepower, which when I looked it up, it transferred, it, you know, it said like 180 CFMs. Now that's, uh, with just a standard filter, three layer filter. I actually use a different filter and I'll show you that in a second. But, you know, like I said, it has some nice wheels on it. Nice little convenient handle for, you know, rolling it in and out of buildings. I told you, everything on wheels. So I'm a big believer in that, everything on wheels. All right, the little pedals at the bottom. And this, one thing that's different, of course, this is a bottom mounted motor. So um, instead of the, most of the time, when you take the top off of these, the motor's inside of the top. This one has the motor in the bottom. And the reason I thought <laughs> that would be a good idea is one, I like the foot pedal idea. Um, so let me show you. Now with this bottom mount, with the motor being bottom mounted, it means all the bag and everything is really accessible from the top. So I just take that off, just a plain lid, and bam, you got your filter and your bag. All right, so see if you look at this, the closely at this filter right here, you'll see it's a, it's, it's all green. Everything in here is green. This symbolizes it's their five layers, like a five layer HEPA filter. It's like OSHA approved. And then you got this cyclone bag, which is a cyclone bag because it, it's, it's one full piece that goes all the way around and connects in the front. Now, I did a drywall job not that long ago, man, like where I uh, did the ceiling. And this thing is pristine. I've done a few dry, I've done a few jobs like um, skimming ceilings and, and doing all kind of drywall. And this, like, this thing is efficient. It is super efficient. But the bags aren't cheap. Now, like I think a set of two bags and a filter is like $55. So, you know, that's why you gotta do what I, you know, charge what you're supposed to charge because you're going, to, the customers are gonna appreciate that. Because when you do this, you're gonna tell the customer that you're, this is what you're using, right? It's not gonna be a guessing game. You, you know, you, they gonna understand that you're taking it to the next level about, you know, for their health and safety and, their, and to, help their, to help save their lungs. You know what I mean? Now, with this shop vac setup, it's super efficient and it gets a lot of the dust and I don't have to worry about it. The whole setup, including the bags, that's probably around $250. Now, don't get me wrong. I, you know, <laughs> I used one that had the top motor, mounted motor on it. And I can't say that this one is way better, but I don't know. I liked it uh, just be a little different and it's easier to deal with. And so far, as far as the, the efficiency of the filter, and the, even the stuff not getting out of the bag. It doesn't, the filter has not hardly been used yet. You know, it's crazy. To make things even better, and to make sure you can hook things up to all your different, your sanders, your, you know, maybe an angle grinder or something like that. You need a hose that's gonna work for you. That's gonna help you out, you know? So this is the hose that I use. Now this hose is made by Syntec. Um, you know, I usually, just like I tell you, links will be down in the description if there's something that you'd like to see or if it's something you think you might like to buy. But I love this hose because now, <laughs> it can be a little unruly, you know, because, hold on. This is the hose that comes with the shop vac. Now, most of the time, if you're just cleaning something up, this hose right here, this is great. But the thing is, it's like, if you're doing certain things, this is not very forgiving, meaning it'll flex, but it's not really like as loose 
as I might need it to be where, so, you know, if I'm using something, it, it has more of a chance where it's gonna stiffen and it might pull out of the tool that I have it attached to. So what I like about the Syntec hose, you see how this just like, I mean, it flexes so, so easy. Like in, in the, of course, the longer, it's just, it's, it's super pliable so that if you attach it to your shop vac and I have it attached to like my drywall sander, I mean, it'll, it, no matter how I maneuver my drywall sander, I don't have to worry about it like to keep falling out or it just makes it tight and I have to try to force it to move. No, this thing is gonna move wherever I want it to move. So, and it also has different attachments that come on this end, which I love because I like it. It comes with these different connectors that go on the ends. Now, if there's more, I don't have them all. Some of them are in the truck and it's fine. I don't need to get them all right now, but I think it comes like six or seven different connectors, but it's great because I have, you know, one that'll where it connect to my miter saw, where it's the perfect size for, you know, where to connect. Um, this one, I might have this one where it'll connect to my sander. Let me just show you that real quick. I got my direct, I got my direct action sander right here. This is what I need to, you know, it's corded, but it, this is when I need to take off some serious material. So, but see how it has the little dust shield around it? This will attach right to it. Boom, it ain't going nowhere. And now I don't have to worry about making a complete mess of, you know, if you got to sand down a spot in the subfloor or something like that, and you don't have to worry about making dust, getting dust everywhere. So this is why I like, this is why I like that. <clears throat> so it'll just have one end that goes directly into the front of this vacuum. And then the other end, like, let me show you real quick my, since I'm gonna show, show you a video of, of me using this, right? So once again, pop that piece off, put this one on here, and this one happens to fit my drywall sander perfectly. All right, so this is the Win drywall sander. I mean, I love it. This is this one has a motor mounted on the bottom. And the reason why I like that is because it gives you, it just gives you the leverage. So it comes disconnected. All you gotta do is plug this, plug this in. Uh, All right, and then that's it. Yeah, it's a good drywall sander. And the thing that I like about it is the reason why I, I get the one with the motor mounted on the bottom is for leverage. Because when I'm holding it up, all the weight of the motor is right here. So my arms can rest a little bit, you know, uh, when I'm holding up to the ceiling. Because, you know, if you're doing it in front of you, okay, that's a little different. But even then, it's, all, it's always easier to hold the weight lower than it is if the weight of the motor is up here and I have to hold that up. Then if I gotta hold that weight down here, I can hold it against myself and then make it and maneuver it the way I want it to. So I love the bottom mounted motor of this, uh, this design. It's corded. Like I said, this is a, just a cheaper setup, but it works perfect. One thing that it works perfectly with the Syntec system because the hose for the drywall sander, I have a, uh, it just matches up perfectly with this. And you hook them two together, I don't have to worry about it coming apart. And like I said, I can maneuver this all over the place and it just, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Now, what I want you guys to notice is that, look at the dust, man. I mean, I'm in a room where I'm sanding the ceiling. I got the vacuum running. Now, I don't show the vacuum because when I made this video, I wasn't even thinking about the, the vacuum. You know, I was just recording me uh, using the sander. But the only time you'll see dust is like right there. When I turned it sideways, it's a little bit dust poured out. Or if you got it on the ceiling, you turn it a different way. But even then, even then, when dust starts to come out, I just drop the sander a little bit. And man, it'll pull, it'll pull in all the loose dust in the air. This vacuum, Ain't no joke. And I'm not saying it's the only one that's like that, but for bang for the buck, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, like you, you see it like the video, there's no dust in the air. It's not cloudy at all. Now you see, uh, you might see a little dust on my arm. 
but that's because in certain spots there'll be a little ridge or something like that and i'll go back with my hand sander and i'll hit that real quick my little uh, block sander and i'll hit that spot and that'll create a little bit of dust but see that look at that and then i just it came off the ceiling and i just sucked that up real quick i mean this combination is great for dust extraction man it's it's it is ridiculous and just as a little tip whenever i use uh, my drywall sander or let me say this whenever i sand drywall manually normally i use a fine you know when i'm using a sponge i use the fine ones but if i'm getting a, uh, using a numbered sandpaper it's always 120 like hands down but with these sanders they'll take stuff off so quick like if you accidentally turn it to the side and it nicks it i don't even want to play that game so it'll take stuff off so fast i'll always go with either 150 grit or 180. it just depends on how much the buildup i have up there but this was i was using 180 and i rolled through this room like it was nothing because th this was see how smooth that ceiling is man this was a uh popcorn ceiling so you know i skim coated it and now i'm finally get to the sand process and i just wanted to show you guys how this how well this dust extraction system works that I'm right in front of the camera and you don't see any dust. It's crazy. One big thing, and maybe I forgot to mention, I like about this uh, motor being on the bottom. With the starter switch being a pedal at the bottom, then you come up to your miter saw, you put your piece down, and all you gotta do is reach your foot and just kick it. All right, now this is how I would have a setup on the job site. I would have the vacuum and I would have my miter saw. So this is the connector I had on it for the drywall sander now like I said you just pop it off and then here's the one I use for my miter saw boom now let me take you around the back of the miter saw let me take you around the back of the miter saw you see right here where the dust port is this should fit right in there it's just nice and snug boom All right, now you see the dust port back here? It might not get up every single piece of dust, but it does a good job. It's a beautiful thing. So if you have a dust extraction system that you think works better, hey, just leave it in the comments. Let me know. I'm all about learning. This is my setup. It works like a charm for me. But hey, one day I might switch up. Who knows? I might get my hands on. I know, you know, Makita has the little Bluetooth uh, dust extractor. Who knows? You know, y'all, I love the Makita, man. I just can't help it. But regardless, uh, you know, what are you using? Leave it in the comments, man. You know, we all share and everybody gets better in the process. All right. So. Y'all stay safe, be blessed.